In this tutorial, we're going to review a very powerful feature in Microsoft Excel called the Pivot Table. Uh, this is a feature that will save you countless hours when you're trying to organize data and show it uh, in Excel or export it out via email. Uh, first thing we're going to do is look at a very large file right here. Uh, this is a file of support data that we have and as you can see this extends all the way down and has 47 over 4700 entries so if we were to try to pull out any data or run reports on this it could take a very long time if you tried to do it manually but because of the pivot table feature you're able to take all of this data play with it organize it however you want and then send it out in a very very easy manner so first thing we're going to do to create the pivot table is select all the data so we want to select all of these columns and then just come down and just we're going to grab this come all the way down the bottom holding down shift and click on that last cell and now you can see we've selected all of the data in the report to create the pivot table go up to insert and then click pivot table now it's going to pick you which range you want. If you wanted to enter it in manually, you could, but we're just going to do it automatically fills in uh, everything we selected. So we'll hit OK. And now you can see that that created a new sheet down here. And so this is your pivot table. And now what we can do is add the data in. So the very first thing we're going to do is show you how cool this is. Uh, for this report, say we wanted to find out which support techs were doing the most work or which ones were answering the most questions, that kind of thing. Uh, we're going to come and click the name because that's where the text names are and drag it down from this pivot table field all the way down into rows and now you can see on the left hand side it's placed each of the text names right here and so now we can put in some more information uh, now we want to go and because we're trying to find how many times they were uh, they worked on a specific rig we're gonna go up to rig and drag it down to values and now you can see that instead of going line by line or trying to run any formulas the pivot table did all of it for us so you can see now line by line each one of the texts and then a count of how many jobs they did coming back to the data you can see right here that you have all of these names and they're in kind of a random order and you could sort and then do a count and do that kind of thing but the pivot table does it all for us so right here you have Julianne Garner and she has each one of these items if you come over back to the pivot table you can see that she's had uh, over 1700 different support instances and then you have each one of the other techs that uh, have however many times they worked so this is a really powerful tool we just took all of this data right here and within a matter of seconds converted it into something where we could use it now we could drag that select it and then send it via email or anything like that that you'd want to use it for so that's one example of how to use a pivot table and we're going to come into another one here in a second here you go. Now this is one, it's also a large file. This is a payroll uh, database right here. You can see it has 2600 and over 2600 entries and you can see it has dates, last name, first name, has roles, uh, at the total number of hours on a per job basis, a uh, lot of different information. Uh, what we can do with this is use it to run payroll reports. And so it's a really nice way that you can do that. Now, one thing you will notice when you run payroll reports, say you pulled hours from QuickBooks, one thing QuickBooks does quite a bit is for spacing purposes, so you can see it on the spreadsheet, it will insert empty columns in kind of random spots of the spreadsheet and I'm going to show you I put these in there just so you could see what would happen because that will throw off an error so we're gonna click here go drag all of our data and hit shift select all of it now we're gonna come up to insert 
and click pivot table it's going to go through the same steps now when we hit ok you can see it throws us an error it says the pivot table field name is not valid to create a pivot table report you must use data that is organized as a list with labeled columns so the whole point of i just want to show you that because there's a lot of times you will run into that and i wanted you to see exactly how you fix it and the way you fix it is very easy you click on the column and then you right click on it and just click delete click on this other column right here right click hit delete now we're going to come back select all the exact same data that we just selected before go up to insert pivot table and go through the same thing and now it worked so to uh, just kind of in review you once the once the data has been collected and it's created the sheet you come up to the pivot table fields and for this one we're going to see how many hours everyone worked so we're going to click last name come down to rows and then we want to get the total hours so we're going to click hours and drag it down here now excel is pretty smart you notice before when i grabbed rigs which was a uh, a text field it it did a count of those rigs here in the value it automatically did a count because I picked an integer column so all of the hours are in an integer format it assumes that I want the sum of those so right here it automatically sums the hours up so if I come to this report I can see every one of the employees that was in this list so you can see how hard this would be if you wanted to sort it and create sums of hours to see how much everybody's worked the pivot table does it all for you so you have each one of these last names and then right next to it you have a sum of all of the hours so you have all of that and then you have a total of all the hours that were worked if you wanted to see the total number of jobs that were performed you could come right over here to sum of hours and we're going to get rid of that and we're going to come up to a job ID because the job ID is always unique and we don't want the sum of the job ID because you can see that would throw off a very weird number uh, you just click on that and you're going to go to value field settings and change it from sum to count hit OK and now you can see you have all you have the total number of jobs that everybody performed and so this is a really neat way that you can run that you can see that Barentes performed in that time period 187 jobs so you can also play around with this and get into very complex kind of uh, scenarios so say because we do have roles so say that we want to pick out uh, data based off of roles because you can see right here when you go back and we'll go up to the top uh, you have mechanics you have camera techs you have well scribe techs you have all these different roles if you want to categorize your employees and see what the roles are doing click on roles and then click on hours and so this sums up the hours. so you have a sum of all the camera techs did 76 over 7600 hours mechanics did over 1500 there's one that's empty so it just guesses it and then well scribe text was 4200 uh, if you wanted to do something a little bit uh, more creative and you want to see what the average number of hours per job were you could come to value field settings click on average and right here you could see that the average job for a camera tech takes 4.3 hours a mechanics 11.48 well scribe techs 5.46 so it this is a the pivot table is a great way to run any number of reports you can uh, insert all of these columns play with it run filters add more columns uh, really uh, have fun with it and um, let me know if you have any questions or any other things you want to see around the pivot table but it's a great way to save you a lot of time run automated calculations and uh, be able to build your reports for you